I'm absolutely not laying down. Ignore how I look. I literally just woke up. It's not even 10 a.m. But as I do, I check the morning paper, a.k.a. my Tumblr activity. Someone messaged me last night saying that the newest episode of Riverdale has Ride the Cyclone content. <laughs> I need to see if that's true. I have never, ever watched Riverdale. I've seen one episode, which is their Heather's episode, because everybody said it was bad, and I wanted to hate watch it, but otherwise I've seen no content from Riverdale because I don't like the show and I think it's silly. And not in a fun way. But if this person who sent me this message is true and not just lying for an elaborate prank, and I get to see um, Ride the Cyclone Riverdale crossover, I might lose my fucking mind. Um, so we're gonna watch it, and we're gonna see if it's true. Because I don't even know, I don't even know what I would do if that's true. Because, like, how and what world? Um, but let, let's watch it. I'm not even sitting up. The microphone is now plugged in because I cannot be bothered. I just woke up. Oh, um, not long ago. I also have no context for anything that's happening because I just, I can, I don't care. Are you gay? Unattached? I was seeing someone special named Tony. We had a beautiful and nurturing relationship for a time. Did you? But we've both gone on to forge different paths. I'm almost certain that the relationship was very toxic. Are you seeing anyone? Oh, is this he gay? Are they flirting? Every now and then. Talk kismet. Since you're a scholar of the library sciences. Such weird words that they're saying. But look, just because Percival claimed land rights doesn't mean I'm gonna let him bulldoze pops. Can we put this on two times speed? I don't care about all this. <laughs> the diner is this town's soul. No, it's they won't. Rude. Luckily, I gotta just watch Riverdale. Came up with an idea that could buy some time. <laughs> Only for Ride the Cyclone. I can't imagine so what. The other way. What? Are they gonna sing again? Is there a place you can go to? I said I don't watch Riverdale, which I don't, but I, I talk to a lot of people who watch Riverdale. And I think that they had a time jump. But the show seems exactly the same as pre-time jump, so it doesn't feel aged up like the characters are supposed to be. So I think that was a bad choice. Are they dating? Stay for as long as you need. We would love to have you. All right. Because she's no longer with Jughead? Okay, come on. I know a lot about Riverdale for somebody who has never seen Riverdale, and I've learned it all against my will. There are certain circumstances that are working against you. I don't care. Like that we're gangbangers? <laughs> the fact that you both have criminal records. How about you, Fangs? Are you working? Fangs? Uh, the symbol in the headquarters of the Resistance. We have to keep it as intact as possible. The Resistance? Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me get a crew together and get this done for you. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Also, yeah, I really hate how Archie's hair is full of ginger, but his eyebrows are dark brown. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, if you're gonna commit to the ginger idea, you've gotta go with the eyebrows, too. Knowing that you can read minds, I'm proposing... What? We use your gift for our mutual benefit. Does she mean that metaphorically, or can he literally read minds? <laughs> you've heard of those mentalist acts? Oh, she means like that literally. Movies. Okay. <laughs> I want to present one here. <laughs> I hate the show. You can be the C oh, This is a union job? It is, Carlos, which means uh, health benefits, time and a half, pension plans, and no scabs. We love unions. It was good. I like whatever his face is. Fangs? Together, a new crew to help move Pox. He has good energy. I don't want the judge to think I'm some kind of freeloader. Freeloader? You're a stay-at-home dad. Your house husband. To help provide for baby Anthony. Are they saying baby Anthony, implying that there's a an Anthony that's not a baby? I think it'll make me a better father. He seems like a nice guy. I don't care about this scene, though. I'm almost certain that Faze is not a main character because I've not heard of him. I cannot believe we had Jughead and Archie when we could have had Fangs. Hey Are those her and Archie's kids? What's this aura? Is she saying one of her kids is evil? I'm anticipating that these are her and Archie's kids because they're ginger. But also, what is that aura? Is is that kid evil? I feel like I could easily get very interested in this show because I love trashy TV. Oh my god, now we have a commercial, okay. I want to skip these commercials, but the show won't play if I don't have, um, if I have my ad blocker on. I just want to get to try the cycle cut. Okay, we're back. Is that his girlfriend? I think this is still a very dumb idea. Being like, 
Yeah, we'll move the place brick by brick and then just rebuild it later. That's like not how things work, but like go off, ma'am. We love a girl with ambition. Crash. That was good. She was, she seemed so scared of that thing falling like things don't just fall. It's only temporary. Hello. Is oh, it Percival? I'm so sorry to intrude. It feels I like just, a Percival. Uh, speak for themselves. Yeah. Actually. Thanks. I'm interested. No. Can't be serious. Exactly. Union protections are important. Glad to have you aboard, Mr. Fogarty. As for the rest of you, we hope you'll consider the offer to join our team sooner rather than later. Why don't we just kill him? There's been enough deaths in Riverdale. Just kill him. Once one more. No! Oh my fucking god! Oh! I am shocked. Honestly, I am shocked. I am gobsmacked. Because I was like, how are you gonna fucking have a, a Red the Cyclone reference if it's not in song? Yeah? But I was like, this isn't a musical episode. Why would they be singing? It's Riverdale. Of course they're fucking singing. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is fucking wild. When worlds collide for real. That's shit. What the? Wow. I never would have thought, if you told me <laughs> in 2018, when I first saw the show, that teen murder mystery Riverdale was going to have a Ride of the Cyclone reference in the year 2022, I'd be like, you're lying. Absolutely fucking not. What? Are you? No. I'm, no. No way. That is insane. <laughs> that is fucking insane. Um, that feels so perfect. That feels exactly like... That's crazy. I don't even know what to say. That's... I can't... Who? Who on their team found that song? Who on the... Who on the Riverdale writing team knows about Ride the Cyclone? Because I know that the amount of people who know about Ride the Cyclone is a very small number. That means that somebody who has seen Ride the Cyclone is on the Riverdale executive, like, production team to have picked that song. That means that the people in Riverdale... I don't know her real name. This is... No, Veronica? This means that whatever her name is, she knows about Ride the Cyclone. That's insane. Because in my mind and in my heart, R Ride the Cyclone is just like, oh, this small, cute, quirky Canadian musical that I love. But the fact that, like, it's kind of well-known now, like, at least significantly more well-known than when I first saw it, that's insane to me. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that <laughs> Ride the Cyclone would be featured on Riverdale. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That shit's insane. Oh my god. But like, plot-wise, it kind of works. That song with this weird mind-reading scheme that they're doing, you know? I know this dream of life is never-ending. Very, very true. Very accurate. Would it be too much to ask for a Riverdale right the Cyclone episode? I feel like, you know, I've not seen a lot of their musical episodes. I've only seen the Heathers one, and it was bad. Um... But I think that, honestly, a Ride the Cyclone Riverdale episode would fit thematically very well with this show. I don't know if they can get the rights to it, but wouldn't that be iconic? I'm just saying. Just think about it. I, anyways, this, this was crazy. I'm actually kind of intrigued by this episode. We're going to watch the rest of it. <laughs> Maybe they'll You're talk about it more. Tonight. Oh my god, what's his face? Archie's friend. No! All their stuff has been stolen! You have to see this. What happened? <gasps> Who could have done this? And why? It says Percival's fingerprints all over it. I believe it when he says he had nothing to do with it. I, yeah, I think it's some supernatural thing trying to keep the diner where it is. He's trying to dismantle Riverdale, and for all we know, he could have been responsible for baby Anthony's kidnapping. People are- Their so baby was kidnapped? Back. It has to be the ghost. What the hell? Who's in there? I'm actually kind of enjoying the show. <laughs> There's no one inside. Babes, it's Riverdale. What are you expecting? I haven't seen the ghost with my own eyes. I don't want to sit up anymore. And then I talk to my grandpa. I'll get my crew back. 
Why can't the Thanks ghost just out, kill Percival? Drinks are on me. Here's my chime card. No, not the chime product placement. Look. Or they have unfinished business here on this mortal coil. Concur. Why do they talk like that? I've had some experience facilitating. Because the other characters talk normally. Spirits. This is all starting to make sense. Is it? Okay, so to be clear, <laughs> we can. I love how Cheryl is the character trying to lampshade all how of this. How could you, Elizabeth? But did you ever stop to think that maybe you're the villain? You need to stop looking for monsters. Am I under the, the drama? Bed I don't think I'm the drama. And just you have always been a bad person. Damn. You don't mean that. I do. God, the show just keeps going. I was already quite impressed with your knowledge of Kiss. the unseen arts, but death magic. Oh my God, who cares? Kiss. Yes. Blah blah they blah. Tell me everything I know. Blah blah blah. And Kiss. But I feel as if I've been dancing around it for months. Is this a metaphor for lesbianism? Mostly alone. Feels like a euphemism for being gay. True. I'd love that. Didn't she try to kill someone with bees, being like, "I'm the queen Where's of bees"? Get out. Hey, Frank. Does he have the aura? <gasps> no. I'm just gonna drive this stuff over to the El Royale. Cool. I don't trust no. that. You know, I didn't want it to come to this, Archie. Punch. Here we are. Don't try it, Uncle Frank. Why? You brought this on yourself. <laughs> I'm invulnerable again. We're ready to fight. What the fuck is he talking about? Invulnerable? Also, what do you gain from destroying all this stuff? It's just stuff. Like, who cares? Oh my god. I, I, I love hate watching this show sometimes, because sometimes it's interesting. Sometimes it's like, oh wow, this episode's kind of interesting. There's, there's plot and there's drama. Do I think the show's good? No, of course not. What's the occasion? I Fangs gives me uh, Caleb apologize. from Pretty Little Liars energy, and I think that's why I really like him. So, that's why I was thinking... Married? Maybe we should get married. <gasps> oh, we love a woman proposing. Tony, where's all this coming from? Exactly, not the best. I'm worried about what you're telling me, Tony. <gasps> me too, Janet. Otherwise, you could lose it advantage. Oh, no. And possibly baby Anthony. No, not getting married just for, oh. Where this is coming from, Fangs, is that I heard you. No, I like Fangs. Don't emotionally manipulate him. So what do you say? <sighs> See, Tony has always been the drama. Will you marry me? Wasn't she also the drama in her and Cheryl's relationship? I saw another aura that I hadn't previously. The scary part is... Do you see it around yourself? <gasps> I don't know who this person is a threat to. That was a really good episode. <laughs> Damn, no, that was a really good episode. Who was the, the, the person who put the fucking Riverdale or the Ride the Cyclone song into here? Who was it? Production manager? I don't even know whose job that would be. Not costume designer. Co starring. Casting? No. Canadian casting. Oh, they do film in Canada. They probably film in Vancouver, which is very close to where Ride the Cyclone started. Oh. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Who? Who can I point a finger at and be like, you, you're the Ride the Cyclone stand? Sound mixer, music editor, music supervisor. You, Brittany White. <laughs> okay. She seems to have no connection to Canada or the theater scene. Well, that's say like music and who? Music performances produced by Leonard J. Jackson and Ryan Peterson. Let me see who those men are. Apparently, Ryan Peterson also did music for Jonas L.A., which has an incredible soundtrack. So we know this man has taste. And Leonard J. Jackson apparently also did music for The Twilight Saga. So again, taste. I cannot find exactly who it was, but I shall. Because you don't just like, no, ride the cyclone. That's like, that's like a thing you, I think it, it's probably someone on their Canadian cast. Because I can't imagine that someone in their American cast would, because it's not big enough in the States yet for that to reach like Riverdale levels. Or maybe they just Googled it because it does have a cast album out now. But like, I imagine that cast album hasn't been out that long. 
right for it to be approved through production this also means that they probably had to get the rights to use this song which means that someone in the ride the cyclone production and distribution realm knows that this song is in riverdale that's insane to me but I do feel like thematically Ride the Cyclone and Riverdale are quite similar. I know that the show just got cancelled and like they probably have filmed all their episodes already but if they want to do a Riverdale-esque Ride the Cyclone spin-off show, I already have the script ready and also I would love to be in it. Please give me a call. I, I think that'd be iconic. Like I literally already put on my Tumblr years ago that a pre-accident Ride the Cyclone universe Riverdale-esque TV show would be so good. And I have already written the pilot, so if CW is interested, just let me know, hit my line. But regardless, that's wild to me. That that's just such a casual thing. And I bet the the thousands, the hundreds, two thousands of people who watched this episode didn't know that that was a Ride the Cyclone reference. There's no way. There's no way that the general public would know, oh, that's a Ride the Cyclone song. They probably just thought, oh, that's a cute little jingle that they wrote for the show. But this also maybe implies that, like, Ride the Cyclone exists in the Riverdale universe. Or I don't know how this, how the musical episodes work. Is the implication that, like, these are just regular songs that the characters came up with? Or, like, do they know and are aware of the fact that these are musicals? Because I believe that the Heathers one, they were, like, aware that it was a musical. So if it's the same with this, then that implies that, like, Ride the Cyclone exists in the Riverdale universe, which is already mwah, deliciously insane. I was not expecting to be so entertained by this episode, because the only other episode I've seen was the Heather's one, and that one was, like, bad. But this one was, like, entertaining. I'm like, okay, well, what's going on with Betty and her weird aura thing? Are Tony and Fangs gonna work out, or is he gonna realize that she's man emotionally manipulating him, and they're gonna break up? I don't actually really care about what's going on with Pop Steiner and, like, Reggie and Veronica and all that, but, like, everything else I am kind of interested in. This show was not as bad as I thought. Who would have thunk? Ride the Cyclone would get me to kind of enjoy Riverdale. That's the craziest thing about this episode to me.